I would like to start today's video on Game 5 of the NBA Finals with a quick word of advice, and this advice is directed to the Boston Celtics. At 2-2 in the NBA Finals in Game 5 is not the right time to drop a terrible performance and just not show up. Now that we're done with that, let's go on to the main event of the night, Andrew Wiggins, the Maple Jordan, the Maple Mamba. He was amazing tonight, by far the Warriors' best, players, best player um, in this game. 43 minutes, 26 points, 13 rebounds, and he just dominated the game on both ends of the floor. His t his defense on Tatum was just great, and then offensively, you know, it felt like every time he touched the ball, he made something happen, whether it was going to the rim and dunking, or late in the possession when he had to bail them out with jump shots, or just cutting and playing off Curry and Clay and Draymond. Um, really everything the Warriors could have possibly envisioned when they traded D'Angelo Russell for Wiggins and a first round pick. You know, people in future generations are going to look back on that Russell for Wiggins trade and think it was made up because of how well Andrew Wiggins is playing right now in the NBA Finals when it matters the most. In the two biggest games of his career, Game 4 and Game 5, he's dropped maybe the two best performances of his career in terms of making an impact on winning, and he he was just absolutely incredible tonight, so I'd start, I'd start the video with him because he definitely deserves it, and he's probably the main story because <clears throat> apart from him, uh, no other Warrior really had a great game. I think Clay Thompson played pretty well. Um, as he has since his slow start to the series, 5 for 11 from 3. But on the Warriors side of things, to get this win when Steph Curry really didn't play well at all, by far his worst game of the series, his first playoff game without a three-point make, he was 0 for 9. He was 7 for 22 from the field. He only had 16 points. Um, and yet he was still a team high, or he was still plus 15 and... You'd still say he made an impact just because of his gravity and his spacing. Uh, but yeah, it was really Wiggins. Apart from that, um, you know, I thought Draymond had a bounce back game, was a bit more aggressive to start the game. Um, he finished with eight points, eight rebounds, and seven assists. He fouled out. But um, yeah, I think it wasn't Curry, but the other Warriors certainly stepped up. And yeah, it started with Wiggins, and then it was Poole, it was Thompson, it was Green. Um, it was Gary Payton who had 15 points. Wow, that snuck up on me. Um, yeah, on the, and then on the Celtic side of things, um, they really didn't play well. I think the turnovers is a good bellwether for if the Celtics are going to win the game. And they had 18 turnovers tonight. A lot of them sloppy, a lot of them silly. Um, and a lot of them, it felt like, committed by Marcus Smart, who really struggled out there. He didn't get the calls he wanted. Um... And then, you know, there's just a few times where he just had lapses on defense. I remember one where it ended up with a wide open Jordan pool three because him and uh, him and Tatum miscommunicated. Also, Jalen Brown, he was a, he was minus 19 and just not a very good Jalen Brown game. It felt like he wasn't there for a lot of the game and wasn't particularly efficient five for 18 and then I also didn't think Jason Tatum played that well, even though he got going from for three um, in the third quarter. For the rest of the game, I thought Wiggins did a good job on him defensively. Down the stretch, I just keep picturing all those air balls where the game was getting out of hand for, hand for the Celtics and Tatum wasn't weathering the storm like you would hope your star player would. So... Moving on to game six, uh, it's obviously going to be a big game. I don't think the Celtics are out of this series at all. In fact, I think they would probably be the favorites for game six at home. We've seen them come back from down 3-2 against the Bucks, So the rest of the series should be very, very interesting. Um, it's been a good final so far. I thought this was a pretty good game, even though it felt like the Warriors were in control for most of it until that third quarter run for the Celtics, and then the Warriors just took off in the fourth quarter and things were really spiraling out of control for the Celtics. So yeah, Andrew Wiggins, great game in game five and the Warriors take a decisive 3-2 lead and yeah, we'll see what happens in game six because it should be a good one. Warriors looking to close it out in Boston. But anyways, thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more NBA content.